Hello everyone, and welcome back to Farming Simulator 15. We are, uh, selling silage. You know why. If you watched the last episode, if you don't, that's okay, I'll explain it right now. We are selling silage because we have a great demand, and that great demand is selling silage for about, well, a little over $5,000 a pop. And by a pop, I'm not exactly sure what I mean, because I don't quite know what the units are, but basically for every bucket load we get about twenty five thousand dollars is that right we're gonna find out right now yeah twenty two point eight uh, which is really good um, we already have two hundred eleven thousand we have eighty eight thousand units to go and we're gonna do that we're gonna sell all of it we're gonna get super filthy stinking rich and then we're gonna spend it on a chaff harvester and just blow it all on a chaff harvester. It's going to be amazing. And then we can fill that silage right back up due to having a chaff harvester. That's the plan. We'll see. So right now, as I did last time when we had a great demand on silage, or no, we didn't even have a great demand last time. We just sold it because we needed money. Uh, I'm going to speed the camera up while I sell this. I'm also going to put a little link in the top left. Probably the top left. It could change. Look for it. It'll probably be up by now. Um, that says, hey, if you don't want to watch me just sell silage for quite a bit of time, then click this link and it'll take you to the end of the silage selling for the rest of the, the episode. So go ahead and click that if you don't want to see me sell. If you want to see this process, then obviously you're welcome to watch. That's why I'm here. So I'm going to speed this up. See you on the other side. We are at 0%. And look at our finances. They are looking so good. We are going to have... Well, let's see. Sell this, get a total number, and then work a little on the farm. Maybe spend it right away. Not sure. Alright. Man. So if you ever wondered how to make a lot of money in this game... You might want to consider silage, because that's probably how we've made most of it. 
Uh, we've sold two like silo fulls and have probably made maybe almost a million just on silage alone. So yeah, pretty profitable. We don't really need this right now. Um, we do need to start the time going faster. Um, we need to get this field growing. I'll get this back around. We can empty it out. It's going to be good. And then I think we can probably bale our hay. Because I know we got that wind road last time. Um, I do have a story to share. So if you love stories, then this episode is the episode for you. Um, if you hate stories, stick around anyway because it's going to be good. I mean, of course, right? Get out of my way, cars. All right, fine. Don't get out of my way. You can have that. And I don't want that. What do I want? What am I going for? I want the tipper. Tipper, 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 tipper. It's over here. All right, we'll get the tipper. We're just going to unload that weed. It's already at 93%, so not a bad time to do it. We still have canola in here? Sugar beets. We don't have sugar beets. We actually might have sugar beets, but not a ton, so... We're just gonna ignore that message there. We're gonna empty this out because I don't remember having canola in it. Oh yeah, we had that tree we had to chop down so our harvester could get a little closer. I do remember, it's all coming back to me, all coming back to me now. That is a song from the 90s. If you don't know it, Google it. It's amazing because all 90s songs are, of course, we all know this. See, he's listening to a 90s song right now and dancing to it. He's probably not listening to It's All Coming Back to Me Now because it's, when you hear the song, you'll know. You just don't really uh, move and groove to that song. But man, you sit and you just sort of cry a little. It's, it's basically one of those songs. It's so good. All right, let's go pick up our wheat. I think it's wheat. We'll find out in oh, maybe six seconds. And it is wheat. Right? No, that's barley. Yeah, that's barley. We're just going to leave this here. We don't really need it. We're going to go over here. We're going to drop off the rower. We're going to go pick up our uh, baler. Is it still at the shop? I should probably check. Baler. Baler. Yes. All right. Let's get our baler. Hey, uh, hey, gang. Have I ever shared the story of why this farmer uses the mower as a weight? Because it's really a pretty touching tale. So, hope you're comfortable. Sit back, relax. I'm going to tell you that story right now, just so you know. Because I think it's important that you know the details. So this guy, his grandpa, right? This guy's grandpa. Not his father, his grandpa. He actually started this farm uh, way long ago, like 80 years ago. He started this farm with nothing but a tractor and a mower. That's it. Those two things. He said, I have a tractor, I have a mower. This is the perfect way to start a farm. Gonna do it. Started the farm. He just went around mowing like mad. That's it. All day long, sun up to sundown mowed mode and mode and back then there's a lot more grass it, it actually didn't sell for that much so he had to mow a lot but he made something of himself and he just mowed made some money and finally one day he, he scrounged up enough money that he was able to buy a plow he started plowing the field that he had uh, he had also bought I didn't mention that. So he, he, he bought this field with all this money he made from mowing. And he, he attached the plow. And he started plowing. And he couldn't move. It was too heavy. His tractor is too small. And, and about two days he went by. And he just thought to himself, how am I going to plow this field? I just don't know. And he looked around and he saw the mower and he said, Eureka. I'm going to use that mower as a weight. I think it's going to work. He attached the mower, he attached the plow, and lo and behold, 
He plowed that field. He broke that ground. He planted that seed that he also bought with that money that I didn't mention. And he grew his first harvest. I think it was wheat that year. Don't quote me on that. And he did it. He he built the farm from scratch. And you know, it it wasn't the it wasn't the most normal thing to do using a a mower as weights. You know, the the town laughed at him. I mean, they laughed at the guy. They they uh they called him a uh, mower as weight guy. They he would walk down the street and and the people would just point and say, "Hey, there goes mower's weight guy." That was his nickname, and not in a good way. But he just kept on uh, keeping on, and he kept mowing, and he kept using that mower as a weight. Oh, I forgot that I have to drop these off. I'm so like engrossed in, in sharing this history of this farm. We don't want to turn it off. We want to unload it. Unload is O. And, and he prevailed, and he built this farm from nothing but a mower and a tractor into as you can see a pretty grand farm and and he told his son he said son I would like you to carry on the tradition of using the mower as a weight and and his son said yeah but I don't want to get made fun of so is it okay if I don't and oops wrong button and and he said well yeah but you, you know I'd rather you did just go ahead and use it so I'm not the only one who's ever done it and he did his son did and the son of course is this farmer's father so what do you think that guy did he told this guy his son the same thing and people still laugh but it's okay because we're making something something of ourselves actually you know those jerks over there on that trail on that road that get in our way all the time, those are people driving by laughing at me. And they're saying, hey, look at the guy who uses a mower as a weight. How silly, how ridiculous. They just need to grow up. But anyway, if you've ever wondered, uh, I keep forgetting to push the O. If you've ever wondered why I use this mower as a weight, that's why. Because it's like family tradition. It's the history of this farm. It's, it's ingrained, really, in using the mower as a weight. And I'm pretty sure if I didn't use the mower as a weight, we wouldn't get healthy crops. We wouldn't get great demands on silage and make like $600,000 in an episode. We just wouldn't do it. We'd be cursed, probably, because I think that's how that works. So anyway, that's probably enough history for one episode, but I feel a lot better now knowing that you are all aware of why that is. If it still bothers you, if you still need to you know, go your own path and go your own way because I use a mower as a weight, that's fine. Life is full of choices. As long as you're aware of the family history of this mower as a weight. Thank you. Let's continue to bail. We'll get back to farming. Um, hope you enjoyed the story. If you didn't, I apologize. It went on pretty long. Uh, but man, there's just a lot to share. A lot of history involved here. 80 years. 80 years worth in about five minutes of storytelling. Uh, wow. So, we need to bail. Um, I should probably go check on our wheats. I am really not used to the round baler. I'm so used to using a square baler where I can just like keep driving. I don't have to keep pushing O. Um, but that's okay. I will, I will get used to it. Let's check our... Yep, that's what I figured. Um, there's our lights. I, I'm not going to go around turning the lights on right now because um, it shouldn't take... We shouldn't be here too long. We should just have to kind of drive this under, and that should be good. We can get back to bailing. This I can probably turn on so we can see a little better since it's almost midnight. I am curious to see how much we get from cows. Um, I think they're still at 80%. I just want to make sure. Cows, 80, yeah. So in about an hour of game time, we will see how much we make off that. And then we need to, if there's time, we'll go get our bale picker upper. All right, I remembered who's proud of me. I know, it's not a big deal. All right. 
Hmm. So it'd probably be a good time to speed the process up, so I'm gonna speed her up. See you on the other side. Alright, look what we did. We have a beautiful field of bales. It's one of my favorite things, like, in real life as well. Um, I'm lucky enough to be surrounded by, you know, farm. I mean, um, and, like, on my commute to work every day, it's like 30 minutes through farmland of Nebraska. And, you know, just, I love seeing, like, just fields of bales. Like, I think it's such a cool sight. Um, so anyway, that really has nothing to do with the game, I guess, except for the fact that we just did it, kind of. Uh, but yeah, it's so cool. Um, what do we do? We need to check our wheat, so let's do that. It's going pretty good. What? Why did this middle row just not... Did I accidentally not cultivate that? It looks uncultivated. I must have somehow missed that, which... Whatever, it's a little tiny row. It'll be just fine. Um, I can probably start... Oh, no. How many of you are, like, throwing your monitor on the floor right now? Because I'm about to. You all see what I did, I'm sure? <sighs> I cannot believe it. If you haven't figured it out, I did not enable straw swath for like the entire field so I oh man I should probably just I might as well just finish this out oh goodness alright I'm so sorry it wasn't even because I was storytelling because last time I messed up too so it was just pure just mess up mistake made one we all make them I made one so what we're going to do is just finish this field because it's so close to being done and then uh, our next field will either be barley or wheat and I will be sure to enable straw swath so that then we can you know bale it like the plan was to do in the first place but that's okay we'll still have like a hundred thousand units of barley coming out of this it'll be just not probably that much but but a bit so oh well no big I'm gonna go empty this and we'll let that harvester finish. Oh goodness. I, sh I I can believe that I did that. I'm not gonna lie. But it's not, you know, it's not a big deal. We have six hundred and ninety thousand dollars. We're gonna be just fine. So what should we buy? Not that we can probably use it for a bit. I had a lot of people say to get the crone instead of the New Holland. Um I don't know why that would be. Uh, let me check the headers. I think they have the same exact headers. They have the this thing, and this thing, and this thing, and then this thing, this thing, and this thing. Not, oh wait, no, that's... 9 meters. Oh, this is larger. Does it hold more? No, it doesn't hold anything because it's a chaff harvester. It is more powerful. Okay, let's do it. We'll get the crone. Should we buy it? Should I pull the plug? Okay. We have it. Headers. I'm going to buy all three. I know that's probably ridiculous, but I just, I've just i never really used these two. Um, and Snipe of Rain, a commenter, frequent commenter and viewer, uh, gave me a really nice post about like the difference. So I think I'm just going to probably show each one of them in use on this series um, once I kind of reread his post and figure it out a little more so thanks for that of course that's really nice to get information like that uh, so yeah now we have all three of these we have the harvester you know what we can do with the rest of the money get rid of these loans we're paying every day and just kind of remember that we have that money if we really need it so 
Okay, what a productive episode. I think that's going to be good for the day. Uh, next time we'll finish up our field, start a new field, get our bales loaded up and in a nice little pile by our cows, and maybe plant, maybe buy or plant a field of corn or something for our chaff harvester. So yeah, big plans. We can do a lot of stuff now that we kind of have some money to spend when we need it. Uh, yeah, thank you, as always, so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and or subscribe. That's always appreciated. Otherwise, have yourselves a very nice day.